Exterior, train tracks, same. The survivors of the train wreck emerge and check on each other. Torg helps Nasirius out. How are you? Okay, but I think it's best we no longer travel in any vehicles. We keep crashing them. I feel your pain. Who's missing? We found Myotis. Well, what was left of him. Looks like Darkor didn't make it either. That engine is a bloody mess, and his scent is gone. Wait, where's Cyril? She's missing too. No, she can't be. Cyril! Cyril, where are you? We flew back and forth, but there was no sign of her. Cyril, it's Val, we're here. Come on out, please! Pharaoh looks down grimly and feels a lump in his throat. Cyril, show yourself, please! I... You! You bastard! Val rushes over to Pharaoh, but his fellow vampires grab him and hold him back. Pharaoh turns into a werewolf, ready to fight. This is your fault! You pushed her away from me, and now she's dead! You killed her! Pharaoh growls at Val, steps towards him, but stops. He sniffs the air and turns around. Then he runs up a hill and into the jungle. Commander, where are you going? There's no reply. Stral and Torg run after him. The vampires just stand there. I guess that's it. We're on our own. Hey, Pharaoh's picked up Cyril's scent. He thinks she's still alive. The vampires all look at each other, then run up the hill and follow Torg into the woods. Exterior jungle, same. Pharaoh is back in human form, kneeling down on the ground. What's this about Cyril being alive? I'm not positive, but I thought I caught her scent back there and had to check it out. When I got here, this is what I found. Pharaoh touches some tall grass and raises his fingers for everyone to see. There's blood on them. It's Cyril's, and it goes on further into the woods. How far? I'm not sure, but I don't think she was alone. What do you mean? There are other scents here. What kind? Zombies and maybe human. Human? What would they be doing here? Listen, I think she was captured and left her blood behind on purpose so we could follow her trail. Are you sure it's her blood? Oh yeah, I know her scent very well. Yeah, too well, especially since you violated her back on the train. What are you talking about, sire? I caught the two of them kissing each other. Really, sir? Yeah, we did, but that's not important right now. Cyril's in danger and we have to help her. We? No. There is no we. Not anymore. Not after what you did. Fine. You do what you want, but I'm going after Cyril. No. You're not going anywhere near her again. After the way you violated her... Would you shut the fuck up for one second, Val, and listen? I know you're pissed about what happened, but finding about it won't save Cyril. She needs our help. I don't have to listen to this. Val turns around to his fellow vampires and they begin to walk away. I made a pact. That catches Val by surprise, and he turns back to face Pharaoh. I know about the pact you two made. Well, I've made my own pact to protect her too, and I intend to honor it, with or without your help. But we both know we have a better chance of rescuing her together. Val shakes his head. But then Nasirius steps forward. He's right, sire. What? You know I've had my doubts about this alliance, but after all we've been through, I realize you were right earlier. We do need to stick together. It is what Faratu would have wanted. Val lets the words sink in. A few seconds later, he looks back at Pharaoh. All right. We all go after Cyril together, but afterwards, you and I will finish this. Val walks past him with the other vampires in tow. K 
can hardly wait.